Hey, what's going on guys? Derek here. Welcome back to the channel. I've had a ton of you requesting for me to do a guitar tutorial for the song When You're Gone by Shawn Mendes. And I promised that when he released an acoustic video that I would do it. Well, he released the acoustic video and today I'm gonna try and show you how to play it like he does in that video. I love this song. Obviously my initial reaction is on uh, YouTube from a couple of weeks ago, I think now. But yeah, I, I think this is one of the best songs Shawn has put out in a while. So big fan of the song. And uh, without further ado, let's jump into the acoustic video and try and learn this on guitar and play it like he does. Well, so first thing I can tell is that they're playing this song in the key of E sharp or uh, F sharp. So your guitar will be in standard tuning capo on the first fret. I can't remember if the studio version is in F sharp or if it's in E. I thought it was in E major, but I could be wrong on that. I'm not sure why Sean would raise the key. Typically for a performance like this, like an acoustic live performance, artists will lower the key so that they can reach those higher notes vocally. There's this lick you can see, Sean's not actually playing it, but his uh, lead guitarist is his lead guitarist is here, right there. They showed his hands for a second too. Dang, that's a pretty, that's so pretty. I wanna try and figure that out quick. Let me start off by saying that there's really three main chords so far in the song. You have an A, you have an E major, and you have a B. Those are the chords that Sean is actually playing too so far in the, in the verse. His guitarist is playing some other stuff up here, but you could kind of play that picking pattern down here, which will be a lot easier. So you would go... So you could do something like that if you wanted. His lead guitarist though, again, is playing some different chords up here at the top. That's a funky chord. I've never played that chord in my life before. Uh, it's some type of B though. Basically, I, I'm not gonna break this down too much because um, it's not really what Sean's playing. It's what the lead guitarist is playing. But you have this A chord. And you're doing that same type of picking pattern that I mentioned you could do down here. So you would go six, five, four, six, five, four, six, five. And then you're gonna go to the E, which his guitarist, what he does is he just lifts off that finger and you play that low E string open and these two fingers stay in the same strings and frets and you do the same picking pattern. So together. And this is the really funky chord that you have that I've never played before. And it's a stretch, like I can't even, I have small hands. I have a smaller guitar that I typically use and I for sure would use that if I was gonna play this. But I think what he's doing is it's a, uh, something like that. So this is kind of like your chord shape. And then you go back to that A, E, and then to that chord, which I, again, I'd, I'd have to practice this because this is nothing that I've done before. but it's something like that. And then, yeah, again, back to the A. So that's kind of what the, his guitarist is doing there. But again, that's not what Sean is doing. Sean is just playing A, E major, and B for the verse so far. It's hard He's not even playing right now, really, but B. Now he does. A, E, B. I don't wanna know Single strums. I don't wanna know what it's like when you're gone for good. I didn't know they loved you. What's the happiest I've ever been? Okay. 
Okay. So let's go over that strumming pattern that he did right there, starting right here. So I'm kind of going down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Then he went back into the single strum so far. One thing he did too is coming out of that, you'll see he did like a. So he just does some really quick down strums on that B before going back into that single strum for the uh, second verse. Same riff there. Just down strums two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. E, B. God, he sounds good. Okay, so for that part, you had those eighth notes, three and four and one and two and three and four and one. So I'm just palm muting and playing those chords. And then he had that part where he stopped and then he started doing that strumming again. So it's really similar to that other strumming pattern that we went over. So I'm going down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down. You know, so something kind of like that. Again, don't get too fixated on strumming patterns. You just gotta really pay attention to where the accents and the beats are. So it's down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and. Something kind of like that is the rhythm that they're using uh, so far. Back to that eighth note thing. They do add, so again, yeah, this is the eighth notes, just down strums. That type of thing. There is a C sharp minor in there too, so the B, yeah, this is your B. This is a C sharp minor, so you just go up two frets. You'll hear it, uh, where is it? At? B, C sharp minor, A, E, B, C sharp minor. Crushing this. It's just so good. That riff, too.
Good golly. I mean, again, yeah, that's hands down my favorite Sean song in the last few years. I think I said this maybe in my reaction video. I don't want to see him, you know, you never want to see somebody post breakup like sad and depressed, but if this is the music that he's going to put out, I am all for it. This is, I mean, I, I love this song. So yeah, guys, to kind of quickly recap, again, it's not uh, it's not the easiest song to play, but it's also not the most difficult. I really like these chords in it. The key of E major has some really nice chords because you don't have to move a lot of your fingers. So you can kind of keep them on the same strings. So to recap, your chords were A, E major, B, and then you had a C sharp minor mixed in there uh, during that, like that bridge and instrumental breakdown. I went over that little like a uh, this thing here, and then you know they played the really funky chord, something like that. I would not play that if I was playing the song solo, and Sean did not play that either. But for the verses, I would probably just do like single strums, so A, E major, and B. And then for the choruses, you have the same chord progression, but the strumming in the right hand picks up. So I said it's something like a down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. So that's kind of like the chorus progression and strumming pattern. And then you had in the second verse, those eighth notes muted, just constant down strums. So something like that, I would actually, it's probably a little more open than that. You know, kind of like that. And then uh, in the other chorus, it really was the same type of strumming pattern. I just think there was more energy because his band and everyone kind of picked up their intensity. His vocal got more loud and, and more intense, and then he kind of was really strumming out too. So So he was just same type of pattern and rhythm, but maybe just a little, a little more uh, right hand aggressiveness than in the previous uh, chorus. So yeah, guys, I hope that was helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions at all in the comment section below, and let me know as well what other songs you want me to teach on guitar. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.